So we're ready to go. We've got the B truck loaded up and stubby with all the escapes. And right now we're experiencing a little bit of rain. Beautiful little rain, which has delayed us again. So we'll just have to wait. So right now I have the crew going in the shop, building frames, cutting patties, and just trying to look busy. Cutting some patties. Is that a pound? Yep. Looks like a pretty big pound. There's a pound. I'm a teeny tiny bit over, but. <laughs> Looks like we've had a little bit of wax moth damage. Not a bit. A lot. This would have been one of the first boxes put into storage. So the guys are just cleaning up this one pallet. Oof, I made a mess of this one. So these will clean that up. There's not a lot of damage. burn all that shit. So we'll cut them up into one pound and they'll be ready to go. So when we pull off the last four boxes, we'll put two pounds on. It's a good make work job. Ooh, that's a nasty one. I don't think there's too much of that though. Some of my first boxes put away into storage last year. Uh, I had a little more time for the wax moth to get at. It was particularly a bad year last year for a wax moth. Anybody had brood comb sitting around somewhere practically lost it all. But for the most part my equipment's clean, just a few boxes which might have had pollen in it, which they're attracted to. from last fall. This will go through and rinse everything off, polish things up, and make it look brand new again. So this is the addition, the newest addition to the extracting line. Here's a Paradise Wax Press. I bought it off a neighbor. And the idea behind this, I'm not going to, you know, it's not taking the place of my spin float. But I'm going to have this wax press sitting right beside the uncapper. And as the boxes get scraped, we always have all that burr comb on the top of the box underneath. And that and, you know, the, the um, as we skim the, the sump, that and when we clean out the, uh, the heat exchanger, we have this wax honey that we can't put through the system because it plugs up the heat exchanger. So all that honey usually goes straight into my melter, that wax honey, which is a waste. So I've been overthinking this issue. And finally I went and bought this thing. My neighbor gave me a really good deal on it. So the idea is to have this thing live beside the uncapper. And as there's box scrapings and sump skimmings and the clean out, just drop it into here and it should salvage that honey that's been that we normally would just drop that that wax honey into the melter it should salvage that honey for us so we'll see if it works the way i have intended it to it's a, you know these wax presses can be a uh, pain in the ass if not uh, run properly so we'll we'll figure it out and we'll figure out uh, exactly how to run it through as we intended here but uh, it should work. It should 
work as intended. And if it does, it's going to help us um, squeeze out every little bit of honey that comes through this honey hose. And I just can't wait to get it going just when I brought it in, you know, 240. And I don't have that wired to the uncapper there, so I called my electrician in today and he's going to string me another wire tomorrow. I told him we have bees coming in to the facility um, on Monday. So if there's anything that hurries up an electrician is tell them that there's going to be bees in the facility within the next week and they will be Johnny on the spot. So just uh, just another little toy to hopefully make me some money.